Hey guys, it's uh, Revit Asia once again. We will resume our Revit tutorial as I mentioned in my previous videos, but we will calculate the number of block works being used in our wall. So we'll use the same uh, model. And after this uh, quantity take off, maybe we can proceed for another tutorial which is the revision process in Revit because revision process in Revit is uh, quite different from a traditional AutoCAD that we, that we are using. So here on my plan before, before I proceed with my scheduled quantities I need to put first the tag on my wall so that I can identify later on the wall types in scheduled quantities. So what I will do now is I will put the tag, tag by category. So you notice know, here guys that I have three types of walls. Wall one, wall two, and wall 3. So the next step that I will do is I will create my schedule quantities. So on your project browser, just right click this. Click new quanti uh, schedule quantities and look for wall item. Click OK. So what do we need to get in our uh, wall properties? So we will get the area. We will get the description and then the mark this is the one that I use in tagging. So I will sort this one out first. So I want my mark to put it above and be followed by description and area. So click OK. So I have this calculated areas of my wall. So, I will put another column here, guys, uh, and I will put manually the number of block works per square meter. Because here in the Philippines, we are using CHB, which we call it concrete hollow block, and then in one square meter, we have 12.5 pieces of CHB. So we will use this quantity. So what I will do is I will go here and then just click this new parameter and then we call that one as C, uh, CXB per square meter. Okay, so make sure that you need to select the number. Then click OK. So the number of GHB is there. And it will also appear here in our schedule. So I will put manually the number of GHB per square meter, which is 12.5. Okay, after that, I will add again another column for my total number of CHB, but this time we will put some formula. So click this uh, symbol for calculated parameter and then say total CHB. So the formula of that is area times space B per square meter. Click OK. Again, the Revit is uh, the Revit pop-ups the error that the formula is inconsistent unit. So 
what I will do here is the same thing in my previous uh, video after the area I will put another I don't know if it's divided by one because area is always looking for one unit per square meter click OK and we have that calculated area okay so I will put my my uh, schedule and layout on the title block so new so I want to use my my own title block which is this one so what I will do is I will drag my layout I will drag as well my schedule okay now let's try to flex or let's try to change the wall so here if I will add if I will add a door here or, or window the quantity is supposed to be will change Okay, so let's try to put a window here. Oh, sorry, a door. So the quantity of my wall one here was decreased as well as the area. So the number of seats be reduced to 865 pieces. So if I will remove that, it will go back to 890. So once you you add openings on your wall, your schedule quantity is always update. So let's try to put a series of doors here. You see that? Okay, so that is how we calculate the number of black holes in our walls. Now we proceed with uh, division process in, in, in Revit. I just put a little bit mirror here on, on in, in the revision block for my type of block. So the revision process in Revit is the first thing you need to do is say I will put a door here and say that is the first revision the added doors so what I will do here is I will go to view and go to your revision schedule so revision schedule you have two types it's either per project or per shift so let's try first to go with per project and let's see what is the difference between that and this one so i will choose Maybe I will just help on your And then here, on date, let's say I will put the date uh, today, which is 8. So, 09-08-2020. And the description of my revision is, I will say additional door. And I click OK. So the revision block is still blank because in Revit you need to put first the revision cloud so I need to uh, 
Actually, uh, activated. So I will put first the revision cloud, and that's the time. The description in in your in your revisions appear. You see that additional score. So you put the cloud there. Yes, okay. And then I will put the revision number, which is A. Then deactivate. So that's the process of revision in Revit. You cannot edit this. The revision is always driven by your layout, elevations, or sections. So let's try to add again another item. Say I will deactivate this. And I will add, say, window. Yeah. And then on my schedule, uh, revision schedule, mm -hmm. yeah. on my revision schedule. I will add another revision, click add, and then put the date, say the date is say tomorrow, so 09-09-20. And then on the revision description, we will put say additional. window then click ok uh, remember class that uh, uh, guys that we are still on this per project revision same thing the revision is not yet appear here unless you put the cloud but once you put the cloud on your second revision still not appear here so what you do is to click OK, and then click this cloud, and there's a tab here which is called Revision, and select sequence number 2. And that's the time the second revision appears. And then deactivate. There. So that is my second revision. So let's say I will add another sheet here. And then I will drag my south elevation. So I want to edit this wall here again. So if I say that I will extend this one a little bit and then I will put the revision And my third division is, say I will put the date 09, 10, 20, and say extended wall. Let's apply, and then put the division cloud 
click finish and then click this cloud and select the uh, sequence tree all of this I will just put the time this is my B this is my C so the revision is already there okay click deactivate so now on my just close this first on my elevation here guys so if I will put a cloud here for this wall because it's it's also supposed to be the same as what we have here on land so if I will click finish and then I will put the revision sequence 3 here yeah, let's find sequence 3 and then I will put the tag here that's revision C on the second sheet 103 the revision is C that is on this process per project so let's try to to change that per sheet let's see what is the what is the changes so this is my sheet 103 and this is my sheet 102 103 and 102 here now, as you can see here, in our uh, revision table, we are using per project. So how about if we will change it to per sheet? Supposed to be C is this one. So if I will change that to per sheet, let's see what happened to this one. it's changed to A because that is per sheet of course if this is another sheet this is your first revision it always starts from the be very beginning so it starts with A and then the description is extended wall but on this sheet it's already on revision C extended wall okay so that is the, the revision process and that is the type of of revision that you are that is the effect of, of the revision process that you are choosing here so if we will put that one back on per sheet this will come back again to let uh, revision C okay so guys I hope this uh, video tutorial will help you to process your project in a proper way uh, maybe you have you have some techniques that you are using which is uh, better than this that's fine but here I just want to help the the beginners in in the Revit users the beginners so maybe for the next uh, video tutorial because I did not receive yet any uh, comment or any request from from the tutorial so maybe I will think first and then just watch out for 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 the next tutorial okay guys thank you